if you have made videos for YouTube or just in general, I'm sure you have looked for background music for either a vlog or just soundtrack in general, which means you probably just put into Google copyright music and chances are you found Pixabay, which claims that they have over 5 million images, sounds, music, things like that, that you can use copyright free in your videos. However, from my personal experience, I realized that sometimes when you use the music in particular and then you upload it to YouTube, you get a copyright claim, which you would think shouldn't happen because they say it's copyright free. And in this video, we're going to go over how you can resolve these copyright claims and make sure that if you are monetized, you can get the earnings for your videos. I'm going to go over a specific example where I currently have a copyright claim from a Pixabay sound, and I'm going to record the whole process on how you can refute this yourself. So be sure to follow along. First thing, you're just going to go and look at my YouTube videos here. And as you can see, 48 hours in Boise has a copyright claim. And if you click the see details, uh, you can say that there is a copyright claim for energetic folk, art music, things like that from this sound to this sound and you can select different actions. If you just wanted to like erase it or trim out the segment, you can do that. Uh, however, you usually have to do it for many parts. So like I have to do it for pretty much the whole video here, which is valid because I use the sound for most of the video. So if we discard our changes there and we want to select an action, if you scroll down, you can dispute this. And the dispute is just saying that you think you have the rights to the music or you think that the music that's being claimed on your video is not actually copyright. And you wanna have that copyright removed. So this is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna click dispute and then you're gonna go next. And then YouTube just has its process here. You have the overview, the reason, details, rationale. Those are just sections that we'll get to. And first, you just need to have your what to expect here. You're going to submit the dispute. It's going to get reviewed by the person who is claiming your copyright. I've learned that Pixabay, the individual artists don't necessarily come after the copyright. I think it's a third party that the artists are using to claim copyrights. Because I've used like 10 different artists and all of them have the same like copyright claim owner. And when you submit this, it all gets resolved anyway. So it's not really that big of a deal. And then you just have your final outcome here. And this is just saying what your final action is going to be. So we're going to click continue. Here is one of the more important parts. You're going to need to select the main reason that you are disputing this claim. And as you can see, there are four or five options here. You can say this is the original content. You made this video or this audio and the copyright is just incorrect. And you need to show proof that it is your audio. I haven't had to do this yet, uh, but if I ever do, I'll make a video on it. We're going to skip the license one for now. We'll get jump back to that one. The next one is going to be the copyright exception, such as fair use. This would be if you like greatly modified it and only had like basically no original audio in it. I don't know the exact details. Once again, haven't had to deal with that. And the last one is just gonna be public domain. That means that you got it from a public domain place and therefore the copyright is just invalid. So now we're gonna go to the license here, which we have a license because the Pixabay license itself. And if you aren't familiar with Pixabay and you wanna use it, uh, it's pretty simple. You can just type in what you're looking for. My copyright claim on here was for energetic indie folk that is a song i used uh, so you just type that in and go through and find it and you can like listen to different songs and everything like that and then download them and as you can see here pixabay claims that they are royalty free images and free stock for all users it's kind of a cool website where the artist gets to upload their images or music or anything like that and as a user of pixabay you can create a free account you can go and sign up pretty easily, just use your email, and then you can use all these tools and resources copyright free. And in return, you can give the creator credit in your videos if you want, I usually do in the description, or you can donate to them when you download their piece of work that you're using. I'll go through that right here now. So say you really like this sound here, acoustic indie folk, you're just gonna click download. It's gonna download, and then you, like that, you can click donate, you can look at their profile, everything like that. But for me, I have the copyright claim on Energetic Folk. So we're gonna go, I believe it was this one. Yeah, it was that one. So you're gonna click download the song. And then you can see right here, this track is registered with the YouTube content ID. That doesn't mean you can't use it. That just means that they have that on there. And if someone were to get this sound not from Pixabay, they can claim that copyright. But because we are getting it from Pixabay and when they upload this music to Pixabay, they agreed that anyone who downloads it from Pixabay can use it copyright free. So we're gonna download the license certificate right there, just downloaded for us. We're gonna go back to our YouTube. We have the license for it, as we just discussed. We're gonna click continue. You can read through this if you want. Basically it just says not all licenses are the same. I do have the right for the license. And then you need to include your specific license. And so then you're just gonna go into your downloads and open up your license that you just downloaded. I usually just open it in OneNote or something. 
You're going to highlight all of it and copy it. You can just use Control A, Control C as a shortcut, and then you're going to paste it in there, Control V. Don't touch anything. That is a license. That's what you need. And then you just need to click all these that you are not infringing upon any other rights. And then you're just going to need to sign in here with your name. And then once you hit submit, you'll get this notice that says dispute submitted. That does not mean your video does not have a copyright claim anymore. That means it is currently being under review by the copyright claimer. As you can see right here, YouTube does not review the ID disputes. It is done by the claimer. And if they don't respond within 30 days, uh, it will automatically be released, which nothing has even come close to taking 30 days. I think most might have taken like maybe 12 hours or a day. They usually respond pretty fast. And then you should also get an email from YouTube that will just go through like, hey, a claim has been submitted. You don't need to do anything with this. This is just your details. It says the video you are submitting it for, the copyright, and this is the third party that is claiming the copyright. Don't need to do anything with this. If you want to view your copyright claim, click view details. And to prove to you that this does work, like I said, I've done it for eight to 10 videos already, and I'm doing it for all of my videos because I know how to do it super easy like this. After about a day or so, max two or three days from my experience, you'll get an email that just says, hi, your YouTube channel, uh, good news. They have decided to release the copyright claim and it says a video title and then that's it. And that means that all of the views and watch hours you get from that video count towards your monetization and not the copyright claimer. And then if you just go back to your YouTube channel, go back to your video, highlight over it, it says there's a copyright in dispute and then you just have to wait until it gets disputed. If you follow this process and you use the sound from Pixabay, not a different sound, shouldn't have any issues with it and everything should be working just fine. Okay, I'm not making this up to you. As I was going through editing this video, I got an email from YouTube and the video that we literally just submitted the copyright claim for has already been disputed. It took like two hours. And now there is just one more thing that I wanna go over in this video before we wrap it up. If we go back to Pixabay, you can see on the right side here, there's different icons. And this shield is the one you really care about. It says the content ID is claimed and there's a digital footprint for it. That means that if you upload it to YouTube, you will get that copyright claim and then you can use that license and it will download and you can dispute it really easily. However, not all things have that little shield. Like you can see this one right here does not have the shield. And in theory, there is no content ID on this soundtrack which has worked for me where I've downloaded the song, used it, no issues. However, it's happened to me twice now where I've downloaded the music, put it in my video, gone through all the editing process, upload it, and then I get the copyright claim from a different third party, not the Pixabay artist. I'm not sure why this happens, but I find it best to just avoid these altogether. So as you can see, anything that has a shield and download the soundtrack, uh, you can always download the license of certificate to use there that you can use to dispute your claim on YouTube. But if it doesn't have a shield like this one and you click download, there is no license to use to remove the copyright. And I've tried doing it a couple different ways. Nothing works. So I found it best to just avoid these all together. Well, I hope this video was really helpful. If you have any other questions about the whole Pixabay downloading issues, copyright, things like that, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. I am not a Pixabay expert. I just use it as background music in my vlog videos. And if you want to see how I got my first 500 subscribers and how YouTube has started to change my life, you're going to want to watch this video here and subscribe for the next one.